La S30 in a, a river. Heading over there to Cama. La Pañoleta. Come on. So it's Saturday. Short sleeve shirts, January 27th, and it's already spring in Andalusia. So I was actually here last, well, I, don't, I can't remember how long ago it was, not a whole year ago, but maybe it was because the field was plowed like this. Uh, I came back when it was already grown up and that was potatoes, tatties, as we say in Scotland, patatas. And you can actually see there's still some po potatoes there in the ground, which, and also here. And that's like the, there's a name for that, for the stems of the potatoes, but I can't remember what it is. I'd have to ask my dad. But anyway, check it out. Perfect ploughed field here on the way up to Camas. I'm meeting some people at the Panoletta, which is like a almost a medieval type inn where uh, you get like traditional. It's a very traditional old place, the famous called the Panoletta, and that is in Camas. Seville is away over there. You can just about see the balloon. There's a balloon at the air carrier that goes up in the air. It's coming down there. The Torre Pei, tallest building in in Seville and there's a shopping centre there. It's an urban shopping centre. There's no other really big uh, towers in Seville. The only thing is the uh, the Giralda. through Camas, which is a little village, Look, there's a little squares everywhere and the old people's, just right by Seville, La Plata de la Cruz, a place of meeting to stop in time that allows you to listen to the sound of the fountains and the sound of the people. Well, the fountains not going, but you know, all the little streets, people going about Saturday, so it's kind of quite busy. So it's like the traditional uh, shop for, you know, when you go for your uh, communion for the kids, you see? The, the sailor's jackets. They still do that a lot here. Let's go around the corner into the plaza. It's a communion or something happening at the, at the uh, church. Uh, into Camas! Yeah, lots of little villages in Andalusia. Millions, in fact. Well, millions. Hundreds. And there are little bars, everyone out in the street doing their thing as they do here. Well, I mean, it's what, 20 degrees, 22 degrees, 27th of January. You can imagine how hot it is here in summer. Yeah, we're just out here at night time. I just took the shutter release cable off because I was doing a long exposure at night of the Cartuja here at the 
I don't know what it is. It's a big ball. Looks like something out of space, 1999. And so we're taking a long exposure with the Rico RF rangefinder. So I don't know how it come out because it's Ultramax 400 and I just did like a two minute exposure at F16. So I think that might be, it, I'm just, um, I don't, I don't really follow the, the rule book there because you can get the, the time of exposure you're supposed to have, but I just do it by, by ear by ear you know to measure it so it was like about a two minute exposure but i know at least the lights will be <laughs> exposed but we'll see we'll see how it comes out it is film a film camera it's not digital you know you could just use your iphone but that would be boring so with that two minute exposure look how it came out i haven't retouched this photo at all it's obviously the long exposure has come out taking out this yellow color in the film but it looks really great i really like it actually it just shows you how um, beautiful actual real film photography is. You know, you can never replicate that with your iPhone.